オーストラリアとニュージーランド防衛の第一戦本日と頼んだ要衝で今後このラホールを中心としてバーツーマン部隊が活躍を開始すればオーストラリアの連アメリカ各国はたちまち使命を制する。
Off, sir. Williams, you know anything about this? No, sir, that's your paperwork, not mine. We haven't got time for this right now. Put her in the sperry until we get up in the air. We'll find out more once we reach altitude. You, with me, no. Captain, we got the green light. There's no more stations up here. The captain's orders get in the sperry for takeoff now. <laughs> Me around. Yeah, since when did we become noise up, huh? What, we're gonna give cherry rights to every wing day now that we got a golly walk in a cockpit? <laughs> this is an Allied mission, Lieutenant Finch. We're working what together. What the hell's a lieutenant? Speaking hey, English, hey, boys, boys, can we get back to the subject at hand? Did you say winged dame? What do you mean winged? Her arm's broke. Who gives a crap about her arm? How's her ass? I couldn't tell in that jumpsuit all dolled up playing soldier, but I will tell you boys this. She was hotter than the devil's cock. I would fuck through Taggett to get to her. I mean, honestly, she got one of those mouths, one of those mouths you could just fuck. Oh, dang. Well, shit, maybe the flight gets boring, we can all get lucky. Oh, maybe you can get lucky with one hand, but she's gonna need both hands from me, boy. I cannot believe that there was a pussy that close to me, and I didn't even get a look. That's a real stealth pussy, fellas. Hello, boys. I hope you don't mind me tagging along today. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Didn't realize, though, we was on the air. Yeah, sorry. We were just, uh, complimenting. Oh, you should be careful now. What do you want me to get a big head? I can give you a big head any time, sweetheart. <laughs> Old dog face door and at it again. Hey, what's your name, honey? Flight Officer Garrett. And you? 
Private Dorn. At your service. I'm, I'm Private Beckel. It's tail gunner. Lieutenant Finch, sweetheart. Navigator. Technical Sergeant Target. Radio Operator. Now it's a pleasure to meet you all. And thank you very much for having me on board today. This is Captain Reeves. Me and my crew cut our R&R &R short because our allies in Samoa needed these transponders urgently. Mr. Williams here, our co-pilot for the New Zealand Air Force, is overseeing the cargo. He got signed off hours ago, so why have I got passengers climbing onto my plane during takeoff? I'm not a passenger, sir. Technically, I'm crew. <laughs> I very much doubt that. Ain't no women in the Air Corps. Sure there are. And women's auxiliary force. RAF, which I'll wager your Scotsman is as well. Oh, you don't know the first thing about me. Yeah, Tag is one of us. We're the hell of that together. I don't appreciate surprises, Miss Garrett. I understand that, sir, but it was a last minute consignment from the very top level. And if you've read the order, it's confidential. I'm not supposed to ask. All right, Miss Garrett. Flight Officer Garrett. 6,000 feet and climbing. Roger. I'm course captain, top climb, 8,000 feet. Miss Garrett. How exactly are you a flight officer? This is Williams, is that right? That's Flight Lieutenant Williams of the Royal New Zealand Air Force. Right, sorry, Lieutenant. It's very nice to meet you. I thought what were non aircrew Yeah. How's a dodo get to call herself a flight officer? A dodo? Well, you know, grounded. Like a penguin or a, a chicken. Chickens can fly, you dumb shit. Hey, not very um, far, they can't, Finch. I'm not a bird. I'm a flight mechanic and a pilot. Oh, well, excuse me, Your Majesty. We didn't know you were an ace. So you've had air time? Yes. How? Before I was WAF, I was air transport auxiliary. Ah, well then, you're not a pilot. You're a delivery girl. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey there, Garrett. Mm. Now, the way I hear it, 99% of WAFs is lesbian, and 1% is horse. Now, you find that to be true to fact, and if so, which one are you? It's a great question, Private Dawn. We're 100% soldiers. Oh, nah. Oh, you're a soldier, too. Uh, guys, I feel safe already. You're not a soldier if you haven't been in combat. Hey, lay off her, will you? She's doing her part. Oh. And you are? Staff Sergeant Walter Quaid. First name basis, huh, Quaid? Jesus, I think I'm feeling a little flush. Is my package secure up there? Sergeant Quaid. Oh, I got a big package for you right here, sweetheart. <laughs> is my package secure? Baggage. Classic. Hey, come on, boys. Cut the shit. Your package is safe and sound, Miss Garrett. Hey, what's in there anyway? A decoder? The consignment said confidential, Beckle. Ooh. <laughs> Seriously, how do you breathe if you know so far up her ass? Okay, gentlemen, I know it's all very exciting with our new guest, but let's keep the chatter to a minimum. Coming up to 8,000 feet. Captain, the transponder. Can withstand freezing temperatures, I know, Williams. We just need to get through the weather before we level off. Hey, fellas. All looking clear where you are. Yeah, all clear up here. Yeah, all clear out back. Why? When we were coming under cloud cover, I thought I saw something. Would it be nice to tell us then, Finch? What did you see, Finch? I don't know. May maybe a civilian plane. It was just a second. Are you talking about the 11 o'clock? About a minute out into the ascent. It was, as a matter of fact, I am, Garrett. You had eyes down there? Yes, I did. Garrett, you get a good look? Could have been a single prop. I spent said. <laughs> it's just let you loose hydraulic on the runway, Miss Garrett. Loose hydraulic? Oh, Miss Garrett came onto the plane with her knickers in a twist about something hanging off the end of the wheel. No, I... We took off just fine. Gentlemen, as much as I'm enjoying the variety hour, this chatter is distracting. Let's just keep off the comms until we get through the storm. That's an order. Sir, I have a visual of something on the underside of the starboard wing. Repeat. 
I said, I am. I saw, I saw something move on the right wing. They call propellers, baby. And they help us fly. <laughs> <laughs> Clarify visual. I saw. I saw. I saw a shadow, sir. A shadow. Uh, yes, sir. A, a shadow. In the signal lights. The signal lights. In the navigation lights, I saw a shadow. It, it went across the wing. I saw it. it it looks like a, like an animal of some sort, some kind of... Uh, <laughs> and I see it too, I believe it's Bigfoot. <laughs> or a gremlin. Garrett, why don't you come on up out of that turret? I'll put you down there to keep you safe during takeoff. Sir. Garrett, I'll swap with you if you want. You'll swap with me, Quaid? Sure. Top turret, bottom turret's the same to me. Crew positions are not interchangeable, Staff Sergeant Quaid. Uh, well, Look, I'm just saying, if she's having trouble down there, maybe somebody... I'm not having trouble down here, Mr. Quaid. I'm reporting what I've seen. Miss Garrett, you're gonna be fine. Non-negotiable, you come up to the cabin now. Yes, sir. Captain, with I... respect, we should keep our eyes peeled. See, she and me saw something. It, it may be nothing, but we should keep our eyes peeled, at least until we clear the clouds. I assure you, this is not a combat zone. We've never had Japanese come this far south ever. Agreed. Garrett, out of the Sperry turret now. Yes, sir. Of an issue with the hatch. Okay, Garrett, let me talk you through it. So you use the steel handles that are right above you. Yes, yeah, so one of the handles broke off, sir. It broke off? In my hands, sir. Those levers are bolted on by a machine in the factory, Garrett. You can't I'm aware, just Mr. Taggart, but it broke off in my hand, so. Well, holy moly, she's Hercules. <laughs> we have a legend on board, ladies and gentlemen. that's enough. Garrett, pull the leather strap to the left of the, the main The leather strap on the auxiliary to... latch is gone too, sir. I, I can't force it open from the inside if one of you can... You're gonna be okay, Garrett. Just relax. I am relaxed. Easy there, Miss Garrett. We're trying to help you. And there's a problem here. Tiger, what do you see? Screws. The screws on the ground. Garrett, you touch anything down there? No! Anything out here, then? You get curious. Maybe pull a lever. As I recall, Mr. Tiger, you were shoving me in with both hands. I didn't have any time. Dorn, Bickle, give me a hand here. Roger that, Tag. What's going on up there? Yeah. Someone please report. Hey, you don't think about it, pussy cat, okay? You keep your mind off it. The men are handling it. She's wearing the torch. What kind of number did you pull here, Garrett? You didn't pull out new wires. You were there. What? Sir, we're having some trouble with the electrical. What's going on? Jesus for the off lights just blew. Copy that. Try and isolate the cause. Sir. What the hell is that noise? Is it equipment? What noise? That? Did you... You didn't just hear that? Just focus on the clouds, Garrett. Do you see any more wildlife out there? Thank you. Thank you, Finch. Lieutenant Finch. Thank you, Lieutenant Finch. Jesus, listen to her voice. She's cracking up. Leave it, Beckel. Hey, Quaid, I'm not the one jumping at shadows, okay? If she hadn't jumped, we wouldn't know the hatch was broken, now would we? Well, everything's eventually gonna break. I apologize for Beckel, Miss Garrett. He's not used to talking to women. Hey! This has got nothing to do with her being a dame, Quaid. It's the position, see? Belly gunners always go crazy. I don't mean fun crazy. You're just cooped up down there in your little plastic aquarium over a death drop. No space. No time to bail. No, sir. You couldn't. You could put me in jail. 
torture me all the live long day. There's no fucking Stow way. Go in, Beckel. How's that hatch going, boys? Am I sensing a tone there, Miss Garrett? Yes, correct, Captain. I have a tone. Oh my god, you let him speak like that. Quiet. If I spoke to a captain like that. What is going on out there? Miss Garrett, we are trying to help you. No, I am in a compromised position and I am not receiving You are updates. an auxiliary civilian. Correction, sir. I am a flight officer. <laughs> Jeepers creepers. Bitch has gone crazy. <laughs> This bitch has got 200 hours flying over the Pacific, in unarmed planes. Do you understand me? No guns, no crew, no one but myself. Through enemy territory, which one of you can say the same? This is not the first time that I have experienced a mid-flight situation, but this is the first time that I've had to sit here and listen to the Marx Brothers talk about who gets to screw me first while I try and do my job. So quit the gang parade and get me out of this bubble instead of pitching a fit when I tell you what I have seen. Do you understand me? Is that clear? Is that clear? <laughs> <laughs> Next minute, she'll be pinning a badge of honor on herself. What can't you do, sweetheart? You're an ace, you're an engineer. Taggart, Dorn, Beckel, leave the hatch for now. Let's give Officer Garrett some time to stop being hysterical. Do not leave the hatch. Pleasure, yes, sir. sir. No, I, I have to get out of this turret. Let me out of the turret now! Ah, voice is like nails down a chalkboard. I am here to protect my package. Do not, do not keep me in here. Ah, I can cut off the main radio, sir, if you like. Do not take me off comms. Please do, Sergeant Taggart. And while we're at it, let's check your credentials against Auckland Air Base in Samoa. Get me out of the turret now. I am here to protect that package. Cutter, Taggart. Do not keep me in this turret. Captain Reeves, she's off radio and she sees something. Get me out of the turret now! Yeah, I think we could all do with a little bit of quiet time. Changing bonds. Do not take me off comms. Captain! Captain! Fuck! Fuck! Stupid fuck! Fuck! God damn it! We have a Jake, 5 o'clock, 400 feet below us in the clouds. Captain, do you copy? There's a Japanese IHE. Oh,
not reorient the Sperry until we determine what's happened. We all know what's happened, uh, Captain. That woman down there's got a gun. Uh, I knew she was dangerous. Ah, oh, man, she's just plain old crazy. She's been saying things from the start. Uh, Garrett, do you read me? Uh, uh, Garrett, respond! Uh, Garrett! Everything's okay down there. Oh, oh geez. Huh. Miss Garrett, you tell me what happened down there. <sighs> yeah, Garrett. You tell the captain why you're taking pot shots at unicorns. <laughs> why you're sharp shooting the wings off a Tinkerbell. Shut up, Dor, and let her speak. Confirm you just discharged a weapon. I did not. Confirm you have a non-issue weapon on my plane. I do not, sir. Miss Garrett, you have seven men up here who just heard some kind of ruckus at a gunshot. Clear as day. You calling us liars? It was not a gunshot, so you, you heard wrong. Oh, I heard wrong. We all heard wrong. So what was it then? That was the sound of a bird hitting the side of the plane, sir. It startles me. Oh, the fucking loud bird. Bird carrying a fucking gun. Officer Garrett, if there's something you're not telling us, now's the time. Just tell us what's happening and everything will be all right. Okay? Sergeant Coy, do you have my radio back? Yes, ma'am. It's safe and sound up here with me. My radio bag is our top priority. That is the most important thing on this plane. I understand that, Garrett. But... But what? What are you asking me? I'm asking... What are you doing? And I told you. It's confidential. I understand it's confidential, but how can we trust you if you keep lying to us? Are you even listening to me? Oh, come on, Quiet. You're just riling her up. Yeah, she's got that, what's it, the temper menstrual... Captain, I've got word from Auckland Radio Control. Go ahead. There's a problem here. No, please, please listen. We are, we are in danger. I don't doubt it. Taggart, what are they saying? Oh, you're not gonna like this. Auckland says they've got no injury reports for a Maud Garrett. They don't even have a Maud Garrett listed on their WAF sheets. They've got a Maud Johnson. Come over ten months ago from the Wasps, but... Boys, we're chaperoning an interloper. Who are you? Who are you, Miss Garrett? There's an enemy fighter in close proximity. All right, tag it, force the hatch open and bring her up for questioning. I can't tell you. Bitch. Jagged report. Oh, she's jammed the fucking cogs from the inside. Garrett. Listen to me very carefully. There's a Japanese IEG, E13A, in very close proximity. Quite possibly directly under us right now. The Japanese use it for reconnaissance and combat. I told you the Japanese can't fly this far. Just because they haven't yet doesn't mean they can't start now. The Jake is a long range sea scout. Not that long range. I know what I saw. And that IHE is going to be back with Zeke's or Type 5s, and we're going to be sitting here with our asses out. We got a hand crack out here. Only a matter of time if we bust this pearl out of the oyster. <laughs> Guys, there's a, there's a. There's a big rat. Not now, Beckel. Garrett, you're going to start giving us straight answers now. Where does a non-combat WAF like you get a gun? Like, well, what did you just say? No, you're talking to me. Who the hell are you, Miss Garrett? W Williams, are there are there huge rats in New Zealand? What? <gasps> oh, jeez. Beckel, get off the comms. It's got fur. Hooks for hands, face almost shoved. Is that right, Beckel? Answer the captain's question, Garrett. Taggart, get that hatch open and have your sidearm at the ready. Aye, Captain. Garrett, are you going to start answering my questions or continue behaving like an enemy agent? I am not, repeat, not your enemy. Then what the hell is Quaid keeping in that bag up there? You mess with that bag and you have Riker to reckon with it. And if you know Riker like I do, that's a court martial for each and every one of you. I'm not going to contravene orders. Quaid, she's bluffing. I'm not sure about that, Taggart. But I know I don't want to mess with Major Rygert any more than I have. Michael, where did you see that rat? Where did you see him? I have a visual on the Jake. Oh my god. The fucking nerve of this girl. Garrett, tell us exactly where you're looking. She can't tell us because she's making it all up. Are, are, are you sure about that? Because I don't know about you, but I'm getting the heebie jeebies back here. Fuck! Tiger, report. Somehow she's overridden manual control of the turret. Sir, permission to fire. Is that a joke? Sir, requesting permission to fire on an enemy attacker. There's nothing out front, nothing out back, but Cash. She's going mad. Garrett, cool it. Fucking spot down low at 3 o'clock. You want me to give you permission? 
You wouldn't even know how to fire if I did. I was being polite. No damage on top turret. All right, we're fine. Fuck! Radio on awesome base right away, sir. Fuck! Beckle, are you okay? Jesus, fuck! One of them whizzed right past my face. Beckle, you're okay. One inch different, I would have been mean to me. I, I feel it between your legs as your ball's dropping, Beckle. Hey, fuck you, fish. <laughs> this is impossible. They don't have the range. Well, they do now. Look alive, boys. We just became a combat mission. Oh, with due respect, sir, your co-pilot is a fucking monkey, so... <gasps> Why don't you shut your mouth, Finch? I was stating the facts. Oh, but, 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 sir, it's impossible for the Japs to come this far south center. Knock it off, Finch. Time and a place. Gary, are you with us? I'm here. What does it say to my package? Oh, hey, hey, hang, hang on. She, she sounds different, right? Is anyone else fucking hearing this? I am hearing this. Hey, boys, she shot the goddamn jet plane right through the wing, clean hit maybe 500 right yards. Bloody ass. I saw it. I saw a smoke trail. I don't think I'm in love. Pull your cock in and listen to her voice, Storm. What is the state of my package? Your package is fine, ma'am. Next to me, right side up, like you said. They'll be back. If they attack, that means they have backup. She's American. Her voice is American. Nah, she's taking us for fools. From the moment she stepped on the plane. Well, she can take me anywhere she damn well pleases. She's any fucking Oakley. Could be Frau Hitler for all we know. Unless you care to enlighten us, Garrett. We could enlighten ourselves if we open that package, sir. I'm not an enemy agent. And if you want a court martial, then sure. Go on ahead and open the package. Well, who are you then? My maiden name is Gary. My husband's name is Johnson. Shit, you're married? Damn, after shooting that good, I was ready to propose. Thought I was too much of a whore for you, Dorn. Oh, no one's too much of a whore for me, baby. Why do you have a gun, Mrs. Johnson? Why the change of voice? Why the, the whole Matahari act? My mission is classified, Gary Major Rygaard. That's all you need to know. Sir, we could just open it and say we didn't. That's her word against ours. I wish I could, Taggart. The order was clear. Whatever's in there is top level and not to be tampered with. Buckle, how are you doing? He'll be fine. He's not your concern. That was your first combat, right? Nice change of subject, Garrett. Can I... Can I venture a guess at you, Garrett? Two. Are you a kind of a plain type girl, like a, a school teacher type? Oh, Beckle. What makes you say that? Well, there was this girl, you know, back home, high school. Margie. Beckle, please. You know, you never see her in any beauty pageant, but. You know, I could just, I, I could talk to her all day. Oh, Beckle, please stop. She'd always crack a joke or some kind of smart opinion, you know. I had, I had a lot of stuff going on upstairs, like you. Beckle, time and a place. Yeah. No, I know, sir, yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm getting a little, maybe. I, I should have asked her out or something, you know. Cool it, Beckle. I just get to think it sometimes out here. And now, now with the Japs, it's like maybe I'll never get to ever tell her that I... Beckle, I said, cool it. Captain, engine three's in trouble. What? Sambo, what the fuck are you doing? It, it, it's not responding. <laughs> Sir, permission to turn back. I'm thinking. Sir, I've got bad news. I've had no response on the short wave, the long wave, nothing. Mission stands, gentlemen. We've been through worse. Well, fucking go. Yes, sir. Understood.
On something? Could you be more specific than that, sweetheart? It's kind of very large, very dangerous, kind of. Rodent. Mrs. Johnson, I'm done with your nonsense. I don't want to hear another word about it. Garrett, listen to me. You don't need to lie anymore. She's not lying. There is an actual gremlin on board. A what? Like the cartoon. I, I don't know, but... But how else? Well, the crazies catch it. That's I am you. not crazy. <laughs> Listen to me. Sergeant Combat does funny things to your head. This is no gremlin. It's just a witch of a woman trying to manipulate you. It's got nothing to do Soon with it. Soon you understand that, the better life you're gonna have. Hear me? Whoa, 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 whoa! What's happening? Uh. Captain, how big should we get this just zero? Sir, it's only time responding. Yes, yeah, that thing just tore them out of the bottom of the plane. Garrett, that's enough. Look, if it's not a gremlin... No, no, no! It is not a gremlin. A gremlin is not an animal. A gremlin is someone else's fuck-up. sir, how the hell else do you explain it? A gremlin means someone screwed up and you're blaming Santa Claus. It's a past-the-fuck excuse, not a literal animal. I saw a big furry rat thing with hooks for hands. Exactly the word she Out used. of the port tail fish. Right, where no one else can see it. We've all heard it. Well, I've heard airmen talking about these things for years. Mutant animals that come to fuck with us. Jesus Christ, you lost your damn mind. She put the idea of that rat thing into your head, Beckel. He brought it up himself. Yes, after you told him what to say. I've been on an all-crew intercom this entire time. How could I even begin to? I don't know. It's whatever's in that bag, some kind of mind control device. And I'm crazy. The hell is that? She didn't put shit in my head. I know what I saw, and she saw it too. The gremlin is on starboard wing right now. Prop 4. What? Don what, what did you just say? It's a real gremlin. Look for your fucking selves. You see it, Dorn. You see it, right? There's nothing there, Dorn. Wait, do you see it? Dorn, I, I, where are you looking? <laughs> Sir, engine 4 is now malfunctioning. How should we proceed? Dorn, report what you actually see. Sir, it is in the smoke. It was a large animal, I swear. I can't see shit. It's her. It's whatever she's got in that package. Psychological warfare. Hey, asshole. You're telling me I'm hallucinating? Yeah, we can't all be seeing things. Sir, listen to me. You have some permission to turn back. One thing at a time. Taggart, I'm starting to think you're right. These irregularities started with that package. Nothing about that package is affecting anything on this airplane. Do not, under any circumstances, open it. Sir, I just... The paper said not to open the package. You shouldn't read the bloody paper. Staff Sergeant Quaid, open the package. If it's Rygert, I'll take the heat. Sir, I just... Quaid, that's an order. Quaid, do not open the package. Cap, she wasn't lying about the Japs, and she wasn't lying about the Gremlin. Lieutenant Finch, retrieve the package from Quaid and open it, sir. Do not open the package! Now, whatever's in that package is what's causing the failures on this plane. Quaid, shut it! Do not open the package! Please shut do not open your the package! Mouth. Fucking Christ! I won't. Hand it over. No. Don't make this difficult, buddy. Look, I'm just following orders. No, I'm not giving you shit. Don't open the package. Just grab it, then she's out number three to one. Do not open the package. Quaid, I beg you, don't be a dummy here. Please don't do this. Please do not open the package. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell have you lost your fucking mind? You keep pointing that fucking gun at me, Quaid, so help me. Back off. Take your hand off your gun right I now. I said back the hell off me. Jesus Christ. Like, right? 
right? I gotta be fucking kidding. There's a baby in here. Jesus, this little thing's tiny. It shouldn't be up here. Give me the baby back, Finch. No, sir. Give me my baby right now. Wait. Your baby. No fucking way. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. We can't continue this mission. Return to base. Here's Captain. Sir, setting the course back. Wait, wait, wait. So this is your kid? With her? Man, she's married. Quaid, you guys are married? No, Beckel. Quaid's the stupid bastard who fell for another man's slut. You shut your fucking mouth. What are you gonna do? If you think I'm letting you talk to her like that, you've lost your tiny little mind. She saved all our lives today. She's twice the airman any of you are. Look, I just stole it before, but that's over now. And until we land, one of you says one more wrong word to Maud, I will come down out of the fucking turret, and I will take his head off. Are we clear? Well, oh, shit, Walt. We would never have talked to her that way if we knew she was your girl. We've been taken for fools by the pair of them. You have no idea how fucked you are, Quaid. He had nothing to do with this, okay? It was my plan from the beginning. What plan was that, Mrs. Johnson? What plan? My husband, I... I was young when we got married, and I didn't know. I didn't know how much he liked to drink. Or that he'd start hitting me. I... The war came around, and it was two birds. To serve my country and get the hell away from it. Walt and me. We were just messing around. You know, until we weren't. He left me when I told him that I was married, which I understand, but I didn't tell him that I was pregnant. I didn't even think I'd keep the baby. I thought I'd just give the baby away, but... I couldn't. I don't know who ratted me out, but yesterday my husband showed up on base, and the minute that he got me alone, he was gonna kill me. I will not let myself be dishonorably discharged so that a drunk can choke me to death in the privacy of his own home. I will not let my baby become an orphan. Or worse. So yes, I stole the letterhead, I stole the uniform, all of it. Why didn't you tell me? I just did, Walt. Why didn't you tell me? Maybe I was scared, Walt. I didn't know what the hell you were going to do. I had to get out of there, and I didn't know if you were going to march me right back to him or if you would just leave me again. You came onto my ship with a forged document and a baby in a bag. What did you think was going to happen, Mrs. Johnson? I thought I could sit out a cargo run to Samoa. Yeah, but with a baby? I didn't have any other options. I asked the nurses to give me something to sedate my baby, and I got on the plane. Just thought... Maybe. Maybe if I was lucky. 
Mrs. Johnson, Mr. Quaid, as soon as we land, both of you are under arrest by order of the United States Army Air Corps. I have eyes on the enemy. Becker, you see the gremlin? No. Six o'clock. Alright, let's get together. Let's get together right now. Hey, everybody. Confirming. Three Zeke's coming up right behind us now. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Did you say three? Jesus Christ. I see them. They're splitting up, guys. They're splitting up. Captain, they're gonna be on us in no time. Can't we outrun them? No chance in hell with our engines out. No shit. Everyone at the stations, prepare for evasive maneuvers and defensive fire. Did you hear that? I hear it. What the hell is that racket? Shit. There's something on top of the plane. Quaid is heading your way. Something. There's something on the turret. Quaid. There's something on the goddamn turret. Ah, What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What the fuck? Quaid. Quaid, say something. Quaid, say something right now. Where's the baby? Jesus Christ! Quaid, say something. Fuck. Fucking hell, he's... Quaid's down. No, 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 no. <laughs> fuck me, sir. Sir, fuck, it's gone. The fucking goddamn baby's... Where the fuck is it? <laughs>
Hi, sweetie. It's gonna be okay, sweetie. It's gonna be okay, okay? Everything. 
It would be dead weight when we sat down, otherwise we'll explode on impact. No, that cargo is not going anywhere. It doesn't matter. Dump it. Get down! I can't, I can't. We have no other choice, Williams. You land this land or we die trying. You gotta shoot your shot. Yes, ma'am. Oh, damn it! Ah. 
Where are we diving? Uh, the elevator's is jammed. I can't get it out of a nose dive. Oh. Should we roll through? What? We roll through to 180. Then a nose down and a nose up. It'll get us out of the dive. I can't do it alone. Full left front up! I got it. We're fine. Are you all dead? Oh. Beckel! It's Terry? Wait, Beckel, you okay? No. Oh, shit. No. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh, my God, William, are you okay? Hey, where's Cat? He lost it. What? No. No. Jagger. We gotta go. We gotta go. Let's go on the lines. There's oxygen tanks on board. We have to leave. We gotta get William. Walk the baby! We gotta get William. Beckel can do it. Get out of the plane, Walt. All right. Go. All right. Come on, come on. Come on, hurry up. Go, 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 go! Move! Come on, I think we got them all, Beckel. I think we got them all. Yes! Fuck yeah! Take that, you fucker! Stuff like this. Babies getting washed overboard on boats and such, but I mean, to go through all that, <laughs> it's a miracle. 
What are you going to do now? I mean, you're going to be in trouble, aren't you? No, she's going to transfer. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Remember? Someone lost their paperwork. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, I remember. I, I was there. I saw what they were talking about. I just, um, you know, it must have been a mix-up in the office. You know what I mean? The fucking secretaries these days. You know, fucking dames. What about them, Beckel? Nothing. Lord. I'm, uh... I'm sorry that I, I left you. I, um... I didn't do what was right. But... Everything I need is right here. So... Oh. Would you, um... Would you... Oh. Would you do me the honor? <laughs> Come <sighs> on. 